Okay, I have an amazing impromptu card effect to share with you today. And it uses a very simple but powerful principle in mathematical card magic that very few people talk about. And in fact, in the coming days, I'm going to post a video that talks about this principle in great detail, explains why it works, and gives you additional applications. Okay, so here I'm just showing you a simple routine based on this principle. And it really is the case that you can do this with the borrowed deck of cards. So there's absolutely no setup. Okay, so for this, um, I'm going to deal out or have the spectator deal out a 20 random cards. So two, three, four, five, ten. One, two, three, four, five, ten. Ten. Okay, I think I got 20 all together. And now ask the spectator to uh, flip face up any seven of these cards, any seven whatsoever. So they may come in here and flip the, that one face up. Maybe these two face up and that's fine. Or maybe this one right here, uh, maybe those two. And then maybe this one right here. And in fact, they can even come in here and mix up the cards. Now, by the way, um, everything we've done so far could be done with your back turned to the spectator. You would just step them through it. You don't need to see anything, actually, for this whole routine, come to think of it. So you can just say, deal out 20 random cards, turn seven of them face up, mix those cards thoroughly. And now what you have them do is deal out any 10 of these cards to you and hand them to you. So they can hand them to you as you turn around. So let's do that part, so here. So the spectator, let's just say they deal off from the top. So three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so you didn't see these cards. And now the spectator says, okay, turn around. I'm ready for you to face me. And then they just need to hand you either one of these piles. They can choose. So maybe they'll hand you this one here. And now all you need to do is take the cards behind your back and I'll show you what you need to do. Okay, so you're really doing it as if your eyes are closed. You're not going to see the faces of the cards at all. Okay, so what you're going to accomplish will be accomplished utterly blind. Okay, but unfortunately you can't see that I've taken the cards behind my back and haven't looked, right? So I'm going to have to show you what I'm doing behind my back. But the fact is you'll be able to perform this right away. And if you watch for my video in the coming days, you'll learn why it works and how you can use it in so many different ways, okay? So the spectator would hand me one of these packets. I would take this behind my back. Let me show you what I'm doing behind my back. All I'm doing is pushing off one, two, the top three cards, flipping the remaining seven, then turning around, setting these here and those there. That's all I will do. So I'll put down the seven that I flipped, which I haven't even seen until I turn around and set them down. And then the three from the top that I didn't flip set on the existing pile. Okay, so there'll be a packet of seven and 13. And then you just explain to the spectator that you have a strong feeling that you've accomplished something very unlikely. That you were able to separate and place cards in such a way that these two packets of cards now have exactly the same number of face-up cards. Now the spectator should give that a little bit of thought because we had seven face-up cards. Well, seven's not even divisible by two to begin with. So it's not like you can just evenly divide them. We have four in one and four in the other without flipping over some cards. But you're claiming that you did that in five seconds with the cards behind your back when you never saw the identity of any of the cards. Well, let's find out if we were able to accomplish that. Okay, so the left pile, one, two, three, four. The right pile, one, two, three, four. 
that is amazing. Okay, so try this for yourself. You're probably not going to believe that this works. And the only way you're going to convince yourself that it works is to try it. Okay, so begin with 20 cards. Have the spectator randomly flip over seven of them. Mix the cards thoroughly. Divide the cards into two packets of 10 in whatever way they'd like. Hand you one of the packets without you even seeing what cards are being handed to you. Take them behind your back, push off the top three into one hand. Don't flip those cards. The remaining seven cards, you just flip those over, bring those out, put down the seven over here, let's say on the left, and set the non-flip three cards on the right, and you're guaranteed to have separated the cards so that there's an equal number of face cards in each. And by the way, it doesn't always end up being four and four. In fact, why don't we do it just one more time to kind of convince you of that, okay? Well, it may end up that way by chance, but I kind of doubt it, okay? So let's do it again. Okay, so and this good review, I guess. Okay, so the spectator uh, needs to choose 20 random cards, flip over, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, flip over seven of them. You can mix these as much as they would like. That would be one way to get your packet of 20 with seven random cards in there. This is as random as can be. They can divide this in half however they like. They could even do like left, right, and that's fine. So two packets of 10. They randomly hand you one of these two. Okay, doesn't matter which one. Okay, so at this point you as the performer could turn around, face the spectator, maybe with your eyes closed still, have them place one of the packets of 10 in your hand, okay? And then you take these behind your back, you push off the top three, leave them as is, flip the other seven, set the, and then turn around, set these down there and those there, and you will have separated these 20 cards into two piles with exactly the same number of face cards, okay? Now this time we actually have three and three, okay? So really theoretically you can end up with just about any <clears throat> number of cards face up or face down, you know, within reason. But the key is they'll be equal. You'll have an equal number of face cards here with the quantity here. Absolutely amazing. And the explanation for this is just mind blowing. And it's a principle that is just so simple, but so incredibly deceptive. But the spectators can't believe that you're able to do all of that without ever seeing the cards yourself. This is really quite a nice, simple, but powerful mathematical card principle. Okay, so watch for that video in the coming days and you'll learn why this works and how you can use it in different situations actually. So thank you for watching and take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.